A tragedy of two cities, El Paso, Texas, Dayton, Ohio, and just a heaviness that the rest of the nation feels today after two mass shootings claimed 31 lives and injured dozens more. It has become so familiar, tragically familiar. Officials in El Paso announcing today that two more victims have been added to the death toll. An elderly woman passed away overnight, and today Juan Velasquez lost his fight. He is the eighth Mexican national to die in the racially motivated shooting. Meanwhile, police are looking at the manifesto posted by the suspect on an extremist website just 20 minutes before the shooting. They say it's filled with an anti-immigrant and racist land language, and it outlines a detailed plan. He's been charged with capital murder, and prosecutors are seeking the death penalty. Federal authorities are treating this as a case of domestic terrorism. Now, Tisha Lance joins us now with an update on the shooting that happened just 13 hours later in Dayton, Ohio. Well, Jeff, more than 1,500 miles away from El Paso, authorities in Dayton revealed more details today about the shooting that claimed the lives of nine people in a popular nightlife district. Six of those victims were black, but today the police chief said they have no reason to believe the shooting was racially motivated. Investigators still don't know if the shooter intentionally targeted his sister, who was one of those victims. It seems to just defy believability he would shoot his own sister. But it's also hard to believe that he didn't recognize that was his sister. Officials also went into more detail about how heavily armed the shooter was. They say in the 30 seconds it took for police to kill him, the shooter was able to fire off at least 41 rounds. They say he was strapped with body armor and 250 rounds of ammunition. President Trump addressed the nation today condemning the attacks. He called for a bipartisan solution to keep another mass shooting from happening. He's also ordering the Department of Justice to pour more resources into identifying potential shooters before they act.